Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Today I'm going to show you how you can create subtitles for your Facebook ads or for any other video that you need subtitles for. So let's get right into it. Um, we're going to switch to my MacBook. So you actually can see the service we're going to be using in this video. Um, for the purpose of this, I decided to use Descript. It's my number one choice for transcribing videos and audio files, meaning get the text written from what's said in the audio or video files and it's very very straightforward they have a web interface but they also have the software for mac and windows and so on and when you sign up with the link in the description below you actually will get a hundred minutes of free transcriptions so you can test and play around and after that they have different pricing tiers starting with a free version where you pay for the minutes you use and for those of you who trans or need a lot of transcriptions they actually have some like packages prepared i've yet so far not paid a cent for all my transcriptions so um here we go when we have the software it will look like this the website will also look like this but you will not have the editing features so you see it's on the left side you have different drives Here's the drive for my company and each drive would mean like a different like payment plan basically. And you would only need additional drives if you would work in collaborations with other people and then you could have a team plan so multiple people can work on the whole project. Now within the project, we're gonna like open up a project that I already have. Um, you see you can use folders and then um, subfolders and then actual so-called compositions. And when you click on add new, you can pick between composition, folder and multi-track composition. The difference is a regular composition is one audio file or video file and multi-track composition consists of multiple video files. So if you kind of like want to stitch your movies and stuff like that, that's the moment actually to point out, you can also do basic cutting with Descript. Yeah. Um, I'm going to create a new composition and I'm just going to pick a video file, um, basically, uh, uh, of a retargeting ad. So it's a short video, so I don't use too many minutes for this video. Um, and you see, it's gonna basically, yeah, when I click transcribe, it's gonna start transcribing it. Um, yeah, and it shows down here. It will take a moment. In the meantime, I will show you how it actually works once it's transcribed. When you have something transcribed, there's like two different actions that you can, or modes you can be in. One is like the edit media and the other is like correct text. Yeah. Now it, the computer will transcribe it like this and it will have mistakes here and there. This is where you would use the correct text then where you would fix the typos and to simply fix the type typos, yeah, fix the text. And you can also assign speakers. So if you have multiple speakers within a video, you can basically assign different paragraphs to different speakers, as you can see here. Like um, it automatically at some point will suggest you speakers because it recognizes their voice. It's really, they use quite some heft or some heavy technology in the background of those transcriptions. So it works that way. Now in each of the modes with pressing the tabulator key, you can start start like play and pause the video to basically go through the transcription. I'm gonna turn up the volume so you also hear it, probably not in great quality, but still you hear what's happening, yeah. So you see it shows you where it is within the video. Now what you can do, what I'm not gonna do in this video because that's already fine, but what I'm gonna do in the one we paste it in, um, you see here it also, it, it, it wrote the transcript. That's the video we just edited before in like maybe a minute or two ago, and it's already done. Now we are still in the edit media mode and you see, we saw that you took advantage now in possession of my, my little known so you see, I have this like silence in the beginning because I usually have silence before, silence before I start recording. So I can then cut out and do some audio stuff, not important for this video. And then actually it got it pretty well. Now what I can do, I could, for example, so I saw that you took advantage. Yeah, I can copy that and I can cut it. And now I put it here. And the magic that happens. I saw that you took advantage, but for some reason, not so you see it actually cut that part of the whole video and moved it down there. So you can basically stitch your audio, you can cut out your bloopers and all those things. Um, obviously with command set, you can uh, put it back again. You can copy it. Theoretically, I could take like, I don't know, this here and basically do like that. Doesn't make any sense, but I could. 
Let's start here so we don't have to wait. So you see, it's really, really powerful for something that actually is supposed to just transcribe your videos. It comes with a lot of additional features. And now once you've done the editing, like meaning out removing your bloopers and stuff like that, so it just flows a little bit better um, or not, you know, again, it's not a professional video editing software, but it gets the basics done. So for example, when you record a video and you notice that you made a blooper, just stop talking and basically start from a sentence before again. And then you don't even need something like Adobe Premiere or Camtasia or something. You can just cut it right there. You can cut out the part where you made the mistake and basically stitch it together with where you then uh, did it again. That's really, really great and amazing. And from here, you can then go to correcting text, which basically allows you to fit uh, fix typos and also the structure, you know, like so the paragraph thing. So I could like put that here, um, put a dot here, and when you make two big changes, like if I say training is, I don't know, asteroid or something like that, yeah, I'm sorry for my typing, then you see it will underline it, which means at this point, it doesn't really have the, the mapping anymore from the word to the speech. It also, you also notice it when I play this part. Okay, there, because it only was one word, um, something, something, something. So you see now it really has lost the track. So it will... Usually it will not proper highlight with the blue part anymore where you are for those uh, till it has the track again. But that's pretty much how it works. Now what you can do with that, you can obviously export it. So just as text or in terms of Facebook, you would click on subtitles caption and just download the SRT file. And with that SRT file, you would then go within your Facebook ads with Facebook ads. And when you have a video ad here, you just go edit to the ad. And there somewhere on the ad level, you will have the actual video and you go to customize video and you go to captions and you upload the SRT file. Now there's one point to mention, as you see here with this SRT file, it's not for this video, so I cannot upload it, but the, the SRT file needs to be named like uh, two letters for the language, underscore two letters for the country. Yeah? And you can only usually upload one SRT file. Uh, so one subtitle file. So you would create your subtitles with Descript. You export them again, file, export, subtitles, and pick SRT. You can configure how many characters should be visible per line and how many lines there should be, which means now it would say like it would basically, uh, we're going to export that real quick to, to downloads, to my downloads folder, which hiding somewhere. So you see the SRT file. Uh, and then we have my downloads folder. And when we... Yeah, preview that file. We need to open it with text editor. So what you see is like from from second zero zero five to to five six blah blah blah. It would show this. So I saw, and then because of the cut we did, it's like saw saw saw. But then for the rest of the video, it's like that's what it's going to look like. I saw that you took advantage of my free book offer, and you're now in possession of my. And then it would then show the next two lines block. So that's how it would cut them. Yeah. Um, Obviously, you can use paragraphs yeah, to, to make sure that something isn't on the same uh, screen so that one line maybe shows separate and stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much how it works. It's like very easy and straightforward. And it's the fastest way for you to actually transcribe your content, which you can then use again. Like it's in this video, I'm focusing solely on like how to create your subtitles for Facebook ads. But that will also work if you want to like, maybe you record a blog like I do and you want to have the transcript so you can then write blog posts out of them. Yeah? So it's really fast. It's really straightforward. Even if you have a freelancer doing the transcriptions for you, um, set them up a Descript account. So Descript does the heavy work and they just have to go and proofread it and fix some things. For me, for example, Descript usually gets my name wrong when it says, when I say Christian Rauchenwald, it gets Christian something, something. And that's something I always have to fix. Yeah. But other than that, it's really there. There, for example, I even didn't notice it, that it got Christina instead of Christian. So I go to not edit media, but correct text and go here and go to uh, Christina and make Christian out of it. And and instead of all combined, obviously my name is Rauchenwald, yeah. And that's pretty much how it works. Yeah. Then you obviously can uh, fix grammar and everything else, like uh, you know, like semicolons and all that stuff. But yeah. So let's switch back real quick. So what you learned in this video is uh, the number one software out there in terms of transcribing. There is nothing out there that's easier to use. To be honest, I looked at many different tools. 
It's one of the few that works on every device. So no matter if you use a Windows PC or a Mac, or if you just wanna quickly use a web browser to get some transcriptions, yeah. Um, it offers like fast automatic transcriptions that are really quite accurate. So you only have to fix minor things, um, depending of course on your pronunciation and everything. And um, it also has human transcriptions available. You have the choice between pay as you go with 15 cents per minute, quite affordable. Uh, or if you constantly need transcriptions, maybe because you're constantly producing videos, then you can just prepay a package, which then includes certain hours per month. But the best thing, again, if you use the link in the description below, you actually get 120 minutes, uh, 100 minutes, so almost two hours um, of transcribing for free to just test it and play around and see if it's a great fit. And what makes it really great if you're within a bigger organization or within a bigger team again there's also like team plans so multiple people can work on the same project maybe you have some freelancers transcribing transcribing your videos so you could basically be the one that just like creates the projects and creates the compositions and the freelancers could then be the one that take care of like fixing the transcriptions and maybe your Facebook ad freelancer gets access so he can export the subtitles for the videos and stuff like that. So it's really, really a great tool to have. Honestly, in my opinion, the best transcription tool out there that you can use right now. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If you learned something, if you also fall in love with transcript like I do, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out future videos and also hit the thumbs up button so other people know that that's the video they need to watch when they want to learn how to create their subtitles for Facebook ad. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.